Hi, and welcome to the Stock Scores Market Minutes for October 30th, 2017. This week's topic, understanding algorithms, plus the trade of the week on General Motors, and of course, my weekly market analysis. The most successful traders use an algorithmic approach to trading. This is a rules-based strategy approach to trading where you use mathematical rules to define your entry, exit points, risk management, that sort of thing. What's positive about it is that it removes emotion and through the use of computers, we can be far more efficient in our entries and exits. It's really utilizing data to maximize the expected value of the trade. When you can look at considerable amounts of trading data, you can see patterns that tend to occur over and over again in time. Now the stock score strategies use algorithms to pick the entry and exit points as well as the risk management. If you want to learn more about those, check out the trader training area of stock scores, but also some of the webinars that I have coming up in November, I will go into this in more detail. You can register for those free webinars in the upcoming events area of stockscores.com. All right, let's get into this week's analysis. Here is our first chart as it is every week, the chart of the S&P 500 30 day 60 minute chart. You can see that we had a little bit of chop here in the last little bit, a little bit of uncertainty. It's actually not a bad thing. It's volatility is how traders make money. This very low volatility, now we're getting much more volatility. And that to me is a good thing. And it showed in the trading in the last little while, it was a lot better. You can see we pulled back to that upward trend line and we remain in this upward sloping channel. This is a bullish trend rising from left to right. So this is a bullish chart. Same can be said for the S&P 500 on the 30, pardon me, the weekly chart going back three years. We are going a little bit parabolic. You can see the trend line starting to curve higher. And so I would say that this market getting a little bit overbought as it is at the top of that upward sloping channel, but the buyers remain in control. They're not showing any weakness yet. I think you have to remain bullish, but given that we have gone somewhat parabolic in the last three or four weeks, I think some caution is warranted. Moving along to the Russell 2000, it's been in that flag pattern. It tried to break last week and failed. Again on Friday, it managed a little bit of a gain and this time closed above its open. So that could be a positive sign that the small caps are gonna to try to catch up to their large cap friends and hopefully continue the upward trend. Canadian market, I was worried that it would stall at long-term resistance. It really hasn't. It continues to trend higher. We're in that nice, upward sloping channel, not a lot of volatility like we saw in the US market. It's a bullish chart because it has been able to break through this resistance zone. Now, I'm still cautious. Anytime I see a market rally through resistance from a low point, I always think profit taking is around the corner. So I still want you to be aware of that likelihood, but the fact that we're at new highs and trending up from left to right is a positive sign. On the uh, small cap Canadian stocks, we had a flag pattern here as well, and a little bit of a minor break on Friday that could point to a move higher in the near term. Notice that the volume is picking up. We've been seeing volume gradually rise, and that is a positive sign. It means that this group is under some accumulation, and that often points to higher prices ahead. Moving along to the US Treasury bond market, we have falling tops here in the short term. That means we're trending lower. We are trying to hold this support zone. Questionable whether we're gonna do that or not. I would say that this is a somewhat bearish chart, really not that bearish, because we haven't made a strong breakdown through support yet. But if we do, if we broke down through that support level, that means interest rates going higher, and I would expect we're moving down into this range. So for now, not a big deal, but something to keep an eye on, as there is some pessimism building in the bond market. One place where there is not pessimism building is in the US dollar. You can see it has broken from an ascending triangle pattern. Did that on Thursday after breaking the downward trend line. This indicates the US dollar likely to go higher in the near term. And that is uh, in the next say weeks or months, this should move its way higher. And that always hurts commodities, which are priced in US dollars. It's certainly not helping gold. You can see on this weekly chart, gold has been moving down over that same time period. It hasn't broken support. You can see our trend line of support is there. We're really just in a pennant pattern, but I do think there is some risk that gold could break that upward cycle of rising bottoms. For now, it's kind of a chart that isn't telling us much. And so I wouldn't worry about it one way or the other, just watch for a break out of that pennant pattern. 
And here's the other important chart of the week. This is the chart for oil. It broke its downward trend last month. It's been building rising bottoms for a number of months. And on Friday, it had a very strong performance moving up through resistance. And that indicates it's probably going to head up into this range here. Not a lot of volume yet. And what is interesting is that we don't see the same strength in energy stocks yet. Now, is there a reason for that? Is that the market just hasn't caught on to it or doesn't believe in the price of oil moving higher? But I think we could see a trickle down effect if oil continues to move up. That could help some of those oil stocks, which have really been pretty beat up over the last little while. And finally, our VIX chart, which of course is our fear chart. We had a little spike in fear early in the week. It dissipated very quickly as the market moved to new highs. What is interesting, though, is that there's more volatility in fear, and that could show that the market is beginning to price in volatility. It has been so low for so long, and perhaps finally we're going to get some volatility, which, of course, makes trading much easier. So my ratings then bullish on U.S. stocks on both time frames. The same for Canadian stocks, neutral on gold long term, bearish short term, neutral on oil long term, bullish short term. Stocks continue to move higher with many of the large cap stocks going parabolic right now, and that increases the risk for a near term pullback. Canadian stocks break out this week, but they're also at a risk for a pullback given the rally through resistance rather than a consolidation before the breakout. Oil breaks with a good reversal pattern and it should continue higher. Gold is stuck right now in that condensing volatility trading range and fear remains low, but there has been a little bit of a pickup. So I talked at the top about algorithmic trading and what I have done is taken my rules and programmed them into software like TradeStation and really it picks the entry and exit points for me. What you see here on screen is taken from my TradeStation screen and there is no human judgment in this chart. The buy point was right here and that is based on my action candle indicator which is the little pink dot there breaking from a predictive pattern. All of those rules are programmed into TradeStation and so when we get a stock like this making this big move which was ultimately a 12 RR move for General Motors, a big move, that was all based on the computer model that I not only use myself but teach in the Stock Scores Investor and Active Trader courses. This particular strategy is a new one called the Action Breaks, at least that's the name today, I might change that, and it will be up on the Stock Scores Education Center in November, so something to watch out for there. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Minutes for October 30th, 2017. Have a happy Halloween, have a great week in the market, and trade well.